المفارق للجماعة رواه البخاري ومسلم يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك يا حبيب سلام عليك صلوات الله عليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله عمر بن الخطاب may Allah be pleased with him on the sixth year after the revelation to the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام decided to end it all they had enough of this man sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who is spreading his new religion that is not familiar to them he is calling people to worship only one God and what about these idols what about these things that we used to worship for so long the religion of our fathers and forefathers so he decided that Today, I'm going to end it. He took his sword and he went where the Prophet ﷺ was gathering with his companions. And on his way, one of the Muslims hiding his Islam saw him. And he told him, where to, Omar? He said, I'm going to Muhammad. I'm going to kill him. So the man wanted to divert him from his direction. He told him, well, before you kill Muhammad, go and look in your own family. Your sister and her husband, your brother-in-law, have accepted Islam. And this made him furious. So he went to his sister's house, broke the door, and he went in. The minute they heard his voice, one of the companions hid under the bed. The brother-in-law, who was Saeed ibn Zayd, Ibn Amr ibn Nufayl and he himself Sa'id ibn Zayd was one of the ten who were giving the glad tidings of the Prophet والسلام, to enter paradise these top ten people top ten companions if you ask anyone about the Bonds League or about the Spanish Football League or about this or that player which team they're playing for or about the Brazilian team, they would give you a list of names. But if you ask any Muslim nowadays, who are the 10 whom the Prophet ﷺ died while he was pleased with them and he gave them the glad tidings of paradise, people would probably know four or five. They don't know. And this is a big problem. Saeed ibn Zayd, whenever you talk to someone and say, Saeed ibn Zayd, he says, who's he? They don't know that he is one of these 10 people. He is the son of the cousin of Umar ibn Khattab. His name is Saeed ibn Zayd ibn Amr ibn Nufayl. And his father was Zayd ibn Amr, one of the people whom the Prophet والسلام, before Islam, he was with him. And this man never prostrated to any of the idols. He never slaughtered to the idols. He used to worship Allah as Abraham, peace be upon him, used to. And he would say to the people, where are your minds? Why don't you think? Allah creates the sheep. And Allah brings rain from the heavens so that the trees grow where the sheep feeds over. And now you're slaughtering this sheep to someone else. So his son was Saeed ibn Zayd. And he was married to the sister of Umar ibn Khattab. The minute Umar broke the door and barged in the house, Saeed ibn Zayd stood up but he's standing up in the face of a hurricane, a tornado. Who would stand in front of Umar? May Allah be pleased with him. And Umar just, you know, weathered him away. He smacked him on the face and the guy was on the ground, couldn't move. And he went to his sister and she was reading the Quran. She had a leaflet. She had some stone with verses of the Quran written on it. And he smacked her on the face. And she started bleeding. And she was furious as well. And when he saw the blood, he felt sorry and softened a little bit. And he told her, what are you reading? 
She told him, this is the Quran and I am a Muslim. And do whatever you want to do. So he backed up a little bit and said, give it to me, let me read it. She said, no, you are a kafir, you are a mushrik, you are najis, you are impure. And this book is only held by people who purify themselves. Go and take a bath and come back. So he went and took a bath and came back. And he read the beginning of the verse, the verses of chapter of Taha. ما أنزلنا عليك القرآن لتشقى. We have not revealed the Quran so that you would become one of the miserable ones. And he went on, and Subhanallah, he changed. And this is the effect of the Quran. People try to stop others from listening to the Quran, because anyone with a clear nature, anyone who is natural and not bias anyone who's objective whenever he recites the quran he knows that this is the word of allah it does not praise people it does not ask you to give your money to people or to individuals it does not classify people in ranks we have this rank is superior than this rank all people are equal the black and the white those who are from the east and those who are from the west. When they pray, they pray in one row. This is the Quran and that is why there are lots of efforts to divert people from the Quran. Because it's the word of Allah. It's not the word of humans. If you recite it, you know immediately that no one can match this. And this is the challenge. Fifteen centuries ago, Allah Azza wa Jal challenged the people to make 10 chapters like it and then to make one chapter like it so the least chapter is composed of three verses bring only three verses try to match it and no one succeeded which indicates that this is the miracle of our prophet he did not say it he could not bring something similar to it no human can this is the word of Allah and that is why it immediately transformed Umar 180 degrees from being a fierce enemy of Islam to wanting to become a Muslim. Why? You have a life that is second to none. You are one of the dignitaries of Quraysh. You are their ambassador. You are one of the strongest, toughest men, if not the strongest and toughest man. You drink wine, you fornicate, you have whatever you wish, no one can stand in your face. What makes you accept this religion of Islam? Why do you want to prostrate and bow to the creator of the heavens and the earth? Why do you want to leave all of this behind and become like any normal person? Simple, because this is the word of Allah. And that is why immediately he was transformed. It is not because of him we see so many people astray so many people living like animals literally living like animals waking up in the morning working throughout the day going to bed not knowing where their life will lead them to then what when we die it's over well let me make it now let me kill myself now and get it over with this is not a life. Get a life. And this is why Umar got his life. May Allah be pleased with him. So he asked them, where is Muhammad? And they told him that he is in Dar ibn al-Arqam. So he went there, but with a different face, without this anger in his eyes sparkling. He went to meet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this was on the sixth year of his revelation alayhi salatu wasalam. and when the people already heard that he was coming and they looked from the door the Muslims were terrified they saw Umar coming and the funny thing was that only three days ago one of the lions of Allah accepted Islam and that was Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib the uncle of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, one of the fierce warriors of Islam only three days accepted Islam so he was with the Prophet 
And the people came to the Prophet, O oh, Prophet of Allah, it's Umar coming. What are we going to do? So Hamza, in a calm voice, sitting down, not even moving from his chair, said, let him come in. If he wants something good, we will help him. If he wants something bad, we will chop his head with his sword, not with ours. We will take the sword from him and chop his head. Look at this bravery and this strength, this power in Hamza. May Allah be pleased with him. That is why the Prophet ﷺ called him Asadullah, the Lion of Allah, the Almighty. Who can stand in his face? So, people being terrified, shaking, they know the strength of Umar. The Prophet said, allow him in. So the minute Umar came in, the Prophet ﷺ did not greet him. The Prophet ﷺ did not stay away from him so that he would not take his sword and attack the Prophet ﷺ. The Prophet was unarmed. Yet, he did something that no one would do. He approached Umar and he grabbed Umar from his shirt and he started pulling him and saying, Umar, isn't it time? Isn't it time? And Umar immediately said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu annaka abdullahi wa rasooluh. I bear witness that there is no God worthy of being worshipped except Allah. And I bear witness that you are the servant and the messenger of Allah. And immediately the whole house, the whole Muslim were in that place said, Allahu Akbar, Allah is great. And the whole of Mecca trembled with this takbir. And the people in the masjid, the dignitaries of the pagans of Quraysh felt that this is not good. Now this sound is definitely not good. And immediately, what did Umar say? Do you expect Umar to embrace Islam within half an hour and then go and sit back and say, well, listen, I have to sit on the internet and gather all the information about Islam and Google it and maybe do this and do that. I'd like to make a few researches. No, immediately he was positive. And he said, oh, Prophet of Allah, give me one good reason why we are hiding in this Dar al Arqam and worshiping Allah in secrecy. Give me one good reason. Aren't we on the true path? Then here's my suggestion, O Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I suggest that we form two rows with Hamza, the Lion of Allah, Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib leading one and with me leading the others. And you, Prophet of Allah, walk in between us. And we head from this house to the masjid of Al-Haram. We go and we pray and we show everyone that we are not afraid anymore. And the Prophet ﷺ agreed to that. And they went and they entered the masjid and the pagans of Mecca, the elderly, the dignitaries, they could not do a thing with Hamza, with Umar leading these two rows. And the people of Mecca knew that with the Islam of Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, it was a new era for Islam and the Muslims. This is all the time we have for today's program. Until we meet next time, fi amanillah, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ya Nabi, salam alayka, ya Rasul, salam alayka, ya Habib, salam alayka, salawatullah alayka, ya Nabi, salam alayka, ya Rasul, salam alayka, ya Habib, salam alayka, salawatullah يا إمام الأنبياء أنت في الوجدان حي 
All your home and office needs online and get it delivered to your doorstep within 24 hours. Kara.com.ng is your surest store for home appliances, inverters, generators, laptops, phones, and computers. Order now at www.kara.com.ng or call 0704-491-3736. Kara.com.ng Online shopping redefined. Ramadan is here. The blessed month of Ramadan is here again, and it is a season that offers the widest opportunity to maximize rewards from Allah. Avail yourself these opportunities by picking sponsorship of any of our spiritually rewarding programs. Tarawi prayers from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, living in the month of Ramadan, reason to believe interactive segment which broadens your knowledge in Islam, our call to prayers in three segments are also avenues for worship. For sponsorship details, please contact Basira on 0823-373-8264 or Saeed on 0817-419-7521. Ramadan Diet, it's all about spiritual upliftment. Ma Salam. Ramadan is here! Where they camped after they left uh, Ali Rodiallah Anna. You will give us the name or the name of the name of the village or the town and the state where we can find the uh, the town or the village. So making two questions in one. The Khawarij left Ali Rodiallah Anna and they went to camp themselves in a particular village or town let's have the name of the town and which of the states in the world we have uh, that town hello can you hear me hello hello sir can you hear me yes sir okay do you want to answer it now so, you go for research it happened in uh, iraq in Iraq, okay. Sorry. Hello. Hello. Iraq, that's the name of the state. What about the name of the town? In Iraq, Basra. In Basra, okay. The village. Sorry, I can't hear. The village. No. The you village. said no, sir. I said the village. No, I didn't say you know I don't always pass comment until when you finish. You mentioned the state, you said Iraq, the town you said Basra, then I said the village. Ah. I don't know that village, sir. But I know that it happened in Iraq, Basra. Okay. Do you want to do the research? Should I leave the question for you or you want me to give my response? I will go and research. Okay. Allow me like go and do the research because one of that your one of your answer is correct, the other one is wrong. So otherwise I will so you have three answers. You give us two, one is correct, the other one is wrong. So go and do this so that you get the all three answers. Jazakumullah khaira for that. So we say Jazakumullah khaira to uh, Atanzil School all the way from Igbubu Ikorodu for giving us copies of uh, Quran in part, 30 parts, Jizu. And then um, also uh, Quran. Jazakumullah khaira to Beneficent School for giving us exercise book.
And Jazak Lord is cut as Sadako for giving us um, their books. Also, we have uh, 5 kg of rice from Atanzil School. May Allah reward them abundantly. Touch Royal for the set. I so much love this set. I don't know. Very beautiful. Beautiful set. Yeah. You can see how uh, Adia uh, Suleya was sitting there comfortably <laughs> and she's smiling. <laughs> We have a call on the line. Hello. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Abdul Ghani, Abdul Ghani. I'm only face two. Abdul Ghani, Abdul Ghani, I'm only face two. Advanced question. What question? Advanced number three. Advanced question number three. Mm. Ah. This question is current affair. Anyway, I'm very sorry you can't change the question. So, otherwise, I would have said maybe you should change because it's current affair. Okay, what is the name of today's lecturer? The theme of the lecture of today, the lecturer for today, the theme of the lecture, and the time of the lecture under living in the month of Ramadan. There is a segment of our program which is living in the month of Ramadan. Tell us the time the segment came up today, the name of the lecturer, and the theme or the topic of discussion. Three questions in one. Allah Alam. Wallahu We don't have today, so. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry for that. It's an advanced question. I will have asked you to change the question. No problem. We still have more people to um, <coughs> appreciate their generous donor. May Allah swallow what Allah reward Tush Royal for the beautiful decoration. And then anonymous donor for giving us star prizes. With that, we come to um, the announcement of the star questions. Some people are still telling me that. They don't have access to the star questions because uh, they don't have light. If you fall into that category or you know anybody, tell the person to call the number on the screen or call 080 If you want me to dictate the question to you, I will do that. That is no problem, inshallah. Uh, question number one. Before we go for a very short break, with reference to Quran chapter 2, verse 177, explain the concept of righteousness. Question number two, the bane of Nigeria's de development is religious intolerance and corruption. Expatiate. Question number three, solution to all human problems is taqwa, discourse, rules. Number one is compulsory. Answer any other question along with question number one. Three, answer to a question must not be more than two pages of a full scalp. Four, answers should include names, mobile phone numbers, and should be addressed to the producer Ramadan Diet, NTA2 Lagos Network Center, Victoria Island, Lagos. All entries to be submitted on or before the 23rd of Ramadan, 20th July, 2014. Oh, we give thanks to Allah for that. You have six more days to go. That is more than enough for you to write two questions. We're going to a very short break. When we come back, we shall still continue on interactive segment. Ajia Suleha is willing to do out everything we have here today. <laughs> <laughs> May the blessings of Allah be upon us this Ramadan season. Ramadan Karim from Honeywell Flour Mills PLC. All your home and office needs online and get it delivered to your doorstep within 24 hours. Kara.com.ng